What's up YouTube, Sean Forney here. I've had some people ask about doing a review on my Kubota disc bind. Here it is, it is a Kubota DMC 8028R. So, it's gonna be kind of short because as you can see, I'm in the fields trying to get my hay cut and get it bailed before the next rainstorm. We had a really dry beginning of the year, beginning of the uh, spring and summer for uh, West Virginia where I'm at, about 80 miles northwest of Washington, D.C., and now it's been raining. I haven't had two or three good dry hot days to get this hay cut, so I've already got my best hay cut, and as you can see, these fields are pretty skimpy. I haven't fertilized them in a little while because we don't own these fields. We just cut the hay on them, and I don't want to dump a bunch of money into fields that I don't own. So, that being said, I purchased this because I got a really good deal on it. I think they run between $28,000 and $30,000 brand new. I bought it off of Messix uh, equipment in Pennsylvania. I think they have like five or six locations across Pennsylvania. I bought a bunch of Kubota stuff off of them. My tractor, my skid steer, uh, let's see, my diesel zero turn, this disc bind. So they, they, they stack discounts if you buy multiple pieces of equipment so I think I paid like ten thousand dollars under asking price and you can't touch you cannot find them that cheap anywhere brand new with a good warranty and all that good stuff so I mean the only thing I can say is I forget who it was but Kubota did buy out a maker of hay equipment at some point somebody in the comments I'm sure you know I used to know there's too much stuff up here for me to remember that but they essentially implemented the technology into this. I believe it's a nine feet, nine in, or eight inch cut. I think it's been a while since I purchased it. Um, but after I got the, the adjustment for the fields that I cut done and downright, it cuts very, very nicely. You can see back behind me. Now, depending on the grounds, you know, some of my grounds are, is not flat, so, you know, you might have a little bit of, you know, uneven cut or whatever. Um, but for the most part, it does a great job. I can't complain. My first time using it, I probably wish I had, uh, I didn't use it very, for the first time in my good fields because I think I left a little bit of meat on the bone. But this year, this field, I know I'm only getting one cut because it's so late. My good fields, which are back that way, I'm gonna get two cuts. So my second cut, I'll make sure I cut them. Um, good but I've probably cut I don't know I'm not like a professional farmer like a bunch of you guys out there that do a thousand acres in a year but I do maybe a hundred hundred and fifty in a year if you count my fields twice right so but again just a quick little review on the piece of equipment it does a great job I haven't had any issues with it whatsoever I better knock on something because as I say that I'll probably break something but all in all I'm very happy it has hydraulic swing which to me is a must hydraulic lift and down you need two sets of remote for the rear to do that um, so it has everything that's important to me so other than that guys stay tuned I'll do a quick little video while checking it out Thank you guys for watching. If you want to see anything in specific, I had several people ask me to do a video on my disc bind in particular. And again, I'm running it with my Kubota M5 111. No issues whatsoever. Plenty of power, plenty of power left on tap. Um, this field's kind of bumpy, so I'm mowing at about five, 5.2 miles an hour. Uh, but any questions in particular of something that you would like to see on this particular disc bind, just let me know. It is a disc bind mower conditioner, so it has the rolls in the rear that, you know, it, it cuts the hay, picks it up, spits it between these two rollers, and squeeze a little bit of moisture out of it. Um, the mower conditioner was important to me because we may not get a lot of good sunny days back to back to back, um, and this year is proving to be that way. So it gets a little bit of the moisture out of there. I'll run my tether through the field tomorrow, and then I'll bail it the following day. Or sometimes I can bail it, if I tet it tomorrow morning, I'll be able to bail it in the late afternoon 
uh, the following day. So stay tuned. Any questions, comment below. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned. All right, again, DMC 8028R Kubota. So these here do come up for storage. Oh, here, this flips up here. This flips up here for storage. You can see. And this thing is eh, pretty much brand new still, I would say. Um, your rollers from the back. It does have this hydraul this valve here to shut for storage. And then again, up here for your remotes for storage. this side this also folds up for storage you just take this fancy little pin here there you go makes it just a little narrower there's a sticker Again, again, if you're buying Kubota products, you should probably call Messix. I mean, they are the best that I've ever dealt with. I mean, they're just great guys. So, you have your adjustments right here. This has a date on it, and that's where we want it to stay. The guys from Messix helped me figure out how to do that. I probably wasn't smart enough. Maybe I don't give myself enough credit. Okay, same thing for this one. storage you got that up and again something I like here has your your storage for your hydraulics here has a little box built in here that's where I keep the tools for this guy your, your, uh, your jack here folds up but again I mean you know I have no issues with this thing. I mean, I, I enjoy it. I, I had historically cut with a hay bind, um, and I wanted to go faster. And all my buddies at farm said, hey, if you want to go fast with no speed limits, then you need to get yourself a, a disc bind. So that's what I did. I can mow a lot faster now. It does a really, really good job. And here's the whole setup. All right, guys, thank you all for watching. Little pool behind video probably going to be a little bouncy but i'll give you a little video of it cutting here stay tuned it's going to be bumpy as i go through but